morning YouTube welcome to channel 48 I was reading about how will Windows 11 affect users and which CPUs will will run on it well I got several CPUs to run on it already and I even have some light versions that I'm testing out but in this video I want to show you how you can get a Windows 11 uh, official uh, legal legacy build that you can activate as well with your previous uh, yeah, activation that you had for instance my Acer uh, uh, machine the all-in-one that I showed in some videos ago it had a Windows 8.1 license uh, a sticker at the back and it was uh, fully uh, automatic uh, um, activated with the home license I had to uh, of course install the home build but it was it was activated so now I have a full, fully activated system and I must say that the home version uh, of Windows 11 runs pretty good on, on I, I in fact have no problems it runs amazingly good on this uh, what is it one two, two, two times 1.8 gigahertz uh, Intel processor I have no problems with it so um, Windows 11 is yeah running on several devices but the problem is most of the times the bias if you still have a legacy bias an old uh, yeah, dual core well not too old of course you need enough ram to, to up to four gigabytes of, of ram more is always welcome if it's a, it must be 64 bit but if that all is covered then in fact you're sitting with a machine that you know cannot really yeah you can <laughs> as i showed in previous videos you can so but how to how to create a legal version uh, for yourself uh, and maybe to help others as well that have their own activation or that want to run it unactivated you see uh, it's all up to you um, how to you know how to create a build like that how to get it well you will need two builds these are the 21 h1 builds the windows 10 and the windows 11 <laughs> if you're gonna go to the internet and you're gonna type in in, in Google uh, Windows 10 ISO download then you're gonna get to a page sorry my internet was uh, I always pull out my cable when I make reviews uh, and up here you can see the Windows 10 disk image ISO file um, you will need to download a tool okay you will need to download the tool you cannot download it immediately but up here you can see that it's the 21h2 build this one you see this one is is is, is th this is the this is the windows 10 that you're gonna get 21h2 not 21h1 anymore you see that and uh if you're uh, for instance uh, if you want the iso then yeah you must install a spoofer and then uh, here you can set uh, windows to linux or so and then the browser you can set to uh, safari, <laughs> safari firefox and then you select the browser boom and then apply apply and if i then gonna refresh this page boom then i can immediately download the iso you see that's how it is if you're a stranger you can immediately download the iso because there is no uh, download tool for these guys for linux users etc so let's say you're gonna just download something any language and then you can get to the 32-bit or the 64-bit and here you can see this is the 21 h2 build all right so for Windows 11, you do the same, Windows 11 ISO, and you as well get it from Microsoft. That one you can download in one go. Before you begin, you can download it with the Media Creation tool, but you can as well download it from here in one go, the ISO. You see that? Etc. Confirm, and then you're going to get the link so um when you have these two builds in you're gonna have one here the 11 and the 10 so how to how to create a legacy build 
Well, it's, it's, it's very, very, very easy. So what you should do is as followed. You're gonna open, you, you need a full, a full uh, version of Power ISO, but I think with 7-zip it should as well be possible. I never tried with 7-zip, let's try it. Yep, yep, you can try, but it won't work because 7-zip uh, cannot uh, delete files or replace files, neither can it save an ISO file. So, uh, fail, don't even try. Ta -na 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 -na. You need Power ISO, full version. Open the ISOs, both with Power ISO, full version, and here you can see the ISOs in front of you. Okay, so now we have it opened with Power ISO. We're gonna open the sources. It's still, I don't know what it's doing. Yes, okay. We open the sources and we hit it, set it to file size. So we get the biggest files on top. File size, boom. And the only thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the install WIM and we're gonna push it there. At the left, we have Windows 10. At the right side, we have Windows 11. So we grab the install WIM from Windows 11 and we paste it or we copy it to the install WIM and override the install WIM from Windows 10. So that Windows 10 will be the port, okay? That is the one that we are porting now. That will be the Windows 11 port that will uh, support legacy devices. And of course, the Windows 11 will just stay Windows 11 legacy. So in fact, we're gonna get two Windows 11 builds now by doing this. This is an amazing tool. Power ISO is the best tool in the world. If you, if you can get it, get it, install it, and always remember it. It's the very best tool to edit ISO files on the Windows. I think there is no other. So please buy the application, okay? If you can buy it, buy it. Because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it to do this task. So, and I was as well talking about, uh, about displaying all versions during the install. Now to display all the available versions, so you can find the one that goes along with your license, uh, you must remove a little file in the Windows 10 and it's called EIA.CFG. Um, remove it out of the, out of the sources folder uh, before you're gonna save the ISO because now we're copying, we're overwriting, well, we are temporary now overwriting uh, the install uh, vim but uh, it's not uh, it's not there yet because uh, after this procedure um, we will have to confirm that the file will be overwritten and then we must as well save the file and that can only be done if you have a full license uh, of this software power iso So that is something to remember. And that's why the guys are showing um, uh, anti-light as a solution to repack the unpacked ISO. You see that? So we just say switch to, switch to, and then here you're gonna select yes. You see, now it was replaced. With 7-zip it was not possible, but now it is replaced. But now we must still save the file and then we're going to hit save. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes. This process, the saving might take up to 10, 12 minutes, depending on your uh, specifications of the PC. And after that, only thing we need to do is rename the Windows 10 into Windows 11 legacy. Okay, there we go. Everything is done. And now our file 
is saved and we can now rename this file into windows 11 english international underscore x64 legacy that's how to do it now um you are ready to create a bootable usb stick uh, do that please with rufus and when you loaded the iso you will see that it will be set to gpt change that to bias that's all then hit uh, create and you'll be good to go and how can you get power iso here you can see it um they are at version 8.1 let me see what it costs these days it costs only 29 euros you know so yeah if you already have a license a windows license then this 29 euro that you're gonna spend will be a well spent uh, 29 euros 95 for your upgrade um, depending on your financial situation and uh, yeah so check it out uh, power ISO uh, I'm not being sponsored by these guys um, but I'm using their application for so long that I think that I should I should as a good user um, tell you about power ISO you know I should yeah I should promote these guys really they deserve it they are just amazing and I could not find any any application that is just as good as power ISO and I've been using it since version 4.9 because my version is an old version you see so yeah i might uh, one of these days upgrade to this newer version um but yeah i can still do everything with 4.9 so why should i okay but uh yeah so power iso thank you very much for this amazing way of um, entering the isos and not only uh, windows isos as well android and linux gnu linux isos i can as well edit uh, thanks to power iso you know i can do all these things so big up power iso and thank you so much and you the users as well thank you for watching uh, i hope you're gonna create uh, a build for your legacy device as well this way and if it all went good uh, leave me your success stories and uh, if you know an even easier way uh, to, how to do this, then you must let me know. But I don't think so. I think this is the easiest way, only you will need power ISO. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it all helped out. Uh, good luck to you. One love. Stay well and uh, enjoy Windows 11 on your not supported computer. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.